Well, good morning. Well, if you're if you're looking at this, you're probably thinking about visiting Carolina Adventure World. This is in a little place near Winsboro, South Carolina, where they have all sorts of ATV and side by side and all these backwood trails that you can ride over 110 miles of trails. And uh, so on spring break this year, the fam decided that we would come spend a few days here, borrow some four wheelers from some family members, and then hang out here and see what this is all about. So the cool thing is this place also has a campground. So as you drive into uh, Carolina Adventure World, we'll do a campground review. Okay, so as we approach the entrance to the campground and actually the park as well, you'll see this little uh, this little house here on the right. This is the main house, or the main uh, welcome, well not the welcome center really, just the entrance house where you're going to buy your tickets and check in if you're in the campground. Uh, they'll tell you what time the, the uh, they'll tell you what time the trails close. Uh, when we pulled up, they actually came out and met us at the at the rig so good morning how you doing, doing good morning. great how y'all doing good. right on that? you too so they came out uh, checked us in and gave us our wristbands there's different kinds of tickets that you can get uh, one is an adult driver one is a child or a youth driver and then the other is a park pass or a rider and so uh, you decide which of those tickets you're going to need and then they'll put a, a, a wristband on you that you'll wear for the entire time that you're here. So as still we're pulling in here, we're walking right into the campground area. Over to the right, you'll see the Welcome Center uh, that has a, uh, a cafe inside of it that has pizza and hot dogs and chicken fingers and all that kind of good stuff. So you can grab some, some lunch or some t-shirts or also helmets, goggles, gloves, uh, some uh, a, a small amount of spare parts that you might need to fix something. As we look down this way, you'll see the entrance to the, the back part of the trails. Um, and there's a couple other things, but here is the campground. Uh, fairly small. Uh, it's just a great big uh, dirt or a gravel parking area. Each site uh, here in the middle is pull through. And honestly, long enough where like you can see, uh, you can see there with this Class A, the Fiesta there, you can leave your trailer hooked up. So you don't have to unhook a lot. We're just gonna take a, take a walk around the campground here. They are pull through again, and each site has uh, 50 amp or 30 amp and water. They're not full hookups. The dump station, if we, if we look kind of see here, the dump station will be off over there near the uh, near the yurt and the the cabin rentals coming around the bottom here 
you'll see this is where we stayed. This is site 11. And we picked this site for a reason, and that is that you'll see all the other, all the other sites are next door, next door, next door. But site 11 actually blocks you off. And so your view, when you are in your little area where your campground, your fire ring is, and your picnic table, your view is actually looking back over into the park and people riding and uh, unloading. There's the main parking area over there and there's the power line. Uh, so from the campground, if you were to ride uh, trail uh, four, I believe, it's down through the parking lot and then out that way. But as far as the campground here, you can see where we have uh, set up and this side here is where we spend our time outside and it's really isolated uh, from all of your neighbors so we just kind of have hung out right here and got to watch people unload and all of the cool razors and side-by-sides that are that are down here moving back over to the next campsite that is right next to here and this is they actually have a note on their website that talks about this particular spot because this spot here has a power box here so if you are in this site and I believe this is site 12 then you will need an extension water hose and an extension power cord to get out here to where this stuff is because you do have to back up all the way into it so that's kind of a special note there about about site 12 you can also see how site 12 is, is laid out where you can back in and have plenty of places to park then moving up the campground here is uh, these are all back in sites and then these are pull through over here here you can see another uh, I guess that's a class A that Melbourne right there leaving their trailer hooked up don't have to you oh, that's a class C um, you don't have to unhook stuff um, but just have plenty of room within each site again these are neighboring sites back against the fence rail over there and I don't know if we can see it because of the Sun but back over there in the fence rail is uh, a tent site. So the other site that you could pick if you did want a little bit of privacy would be this site down here. And again, it's kind of the same way where you can park and you're facing the, the living area is facing away from everybody. So this would be site number 23 or 24 I guess this would be yeah 24 would be the one that you would be looking this way however the road does come by on this side so this would be the next site with a little bit better privacy uh, other than site 11 uh, site 11 does have 50 amp and 30 amp now down here on this side of the of the campground is where the trail heads off down the hill to the other side and way down there I don't know if you can see it but there is an old uh, an old zip line down there there's just a lot of other things here there's trails there's a drag strip there is a speed track there's an oval there's mud bogs actually there's a washing station where you can actually wash your four-wheeler side by side and that's kind of important because one of the things I will say is that because there is this gravel and this crush and run uh, rock dust this place gets really dusty and so you will want to make sure if you're here with your your ATV or your rig especially if it's uh, if it's water cooled you want to make sure that you keep a keep a hose on your radiator to keep your radiator cleaned out uh, else it will get all gunked up with all sorts of dust and everything now again obviously the main amenity here is the trail riding um, the ability to get really really stuck um, people do offer to help everybody out there is not a gas station here so you'll need to come with the gas that you're going to need for your for your time here over here across the parking lot is the bathhouse So you can see here across the parking lot and next to the welcome center is the bathhouse with showers and indoor bathrooms. Also there's a there's a house back there where um, 
where I think some of the employees here stay, or at least the camp host. Another area for tents, and then down through the woods there, and here you can see the yurt and some of the cabins. There's some other cabins down that way. So you can, uh, you can rent cabins here. You can actually rent uh, four-wheelers and side-by-sides as well. This is the dump station where you'll enter from down here and drive by and take care of that before you leave or during your trip. You can see the pond down there and then back through here is again this big parking lot where day use people will uh, will come way down that way. Across the way over there is some storage units where uh, people with annual passes actually just leave their stuff here and come get it, stay here, use it, put it back in there. Uh, back that way again is the wash area um, and some of the mud pits. And then again, the power line is, is down that way. And there you can see the racetrack oval. So again, it's if you're coming here to ride ATVs, this is just a great campground to stay at. Um, I wish it was full hookups, but that's just, you know, no state park is either. It's just something that you have to have to manage, especially your water usage. Uh, if you do stay here for more than a few days, you're probably going to want a tote of some kind to take your gray water and take that over to the dump station to be able to adequately use all your facilities and your rig, unless you're going to use the bathhouse, and then you could probably last a week without having to do that. I think my family would absolutely recommend this place. Um, the other part is it's kind of fun if you didn't have an ATV and you wanted to just stay here for a day or so, you could come and just watch all the people. It's it's crazy some of the different side-by-sides that are out here running through these trails. It's really cool to watch. So anyway, that's the campground review of Carolina Adventure World. We have had a ball here, a uh, plan to come back can't believe it's been this long since we've never come here if you have the ability to borrow some some ATVs or side-by-sides uh, it's probably a good idea to drop by and check it out or again you can rent them here even if you don't have an RV you can rent a cabin or a yurt and hang out here for the week so with that I uh, hope that you have enjoyed this hope this helped you out if you're thinking about coming here uh, check their website out I'll put a I'll put the website right here and you'll actually be able to see some of the prices and some of the different things that they offer. So get out there, have fun, RV, spend time with your family, do some crazy stuff, do some fun stuff, make sure your kids are having fun. Make sure you make it to church on Sunday. <laughs> We're here. I'm in the driver's seat.